Hey guys, uh, first tutorial I ever made actually, so g'day. Um, this is a basic tutorial that I'm making and it's just about the program logic and basically logic X because they're pretty much the same thing. Um, okay, to get started. Um, okay, so this part of it is called the arrange section and this is where everything pretty much goes down. You do your mashups, you make your songs, like whatever, everything. These things over here are called channels or tracks, and that's where everything goes. You audio channels or whatever. You know, it's just all going there. Over on the left here, we have the track. So this is where it plays through. So if I you know, just solo this one, and solo means only this track plays, so the other tracks don't play, and mute means it doesn't play, so nothing will come out. But if we solo it, play it. You can see on the left there that uh, the levels are peaking. I'll turn it down so you can hear me. But um, so there are the levels. So you can turn the volume up and down with this blue bar. So you know. And then anyway, the, uh, the so these are the inputs, and you don't have to worry about them too much because as long as it's playing, it doesn't really matter. You can worry about that later. Um. So yeah, um, I'll start off with telling you how to make a mashup. So pretty much, you're gonna want to want Record Box or another program that tells you the key and the BPM of songs because, like, for a mashup, so you want, you want for a good mashup, sorry, for a good mashup, you want them to be in the same key because if they're not in the same key, it's terribly obvious, and I'll show you this in a minute, and you sound like a complete amateur, and it's shit, and you won't get anywhere. So, yeah, you want that. So, what I've got here is I've got Zenit by, Will Sp uh, by, Will Sparks the fuck, by Zach Waters and Proxy by Martin Garrix. What I'm going to do is, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that they're all in the B grid. And this is the B grid over here, this white bit. Um, and, sorry, first things, you want to make sure that the BPM's right. So these b tracks are both on 128, and generally for EDM they are. And so you just drag, it starts on 120, just drag it up to 128. Um, so you want to put it on the right track. Now, up here we have the tools, and these are all the tools that you can use, and I'll go through them in a minute, but um, the one you want is the scissor tool, and that just cuts it straight down there. And then what you can do, so you press escape and it brings up the whole tool menu. From here you just press escape, tool menu, so you delete that and then you drag it forward. So the first beat's on the first beat I guess. Solo it and you zoom it in, make sure it's right there. Then it's already on the first beat so that is handy as balls. And we go back and now we're going to do, I'm going to put the Zenit's drop in place of Proxy's drop. So you want to find the drop for Zena. So listen. There it is. Then listen again. Okay, it's here. So we'll drop that there and delete this bit. So now what we're left with is that's good. All right. Now I think earlier I deleted the drop for proxy. I did. So. This is the melody for Proxy. As you can see, Xanop was in the middle of that, so... So what I do instead is I'll drag this back, find the drop, so... So I'm going to have a good old guess and say it's here. Yeah, that's right, so... The sounds in key works, it's cool. Um, next thing is you want the transition to be pretty smooth between drop because as you hear it's pretty blunt. Obviously not the same song. It's cool but it's just it's really blunt. So what you want to do just have a bit of a crossover between drops and stuff like just have a bit of a smooth transition. Um, a cool effect is if you 
hit escape and hit fade tool. This what this does is it fades in and it gets rid of volume or adds volume or does what it says, it fades in or it fades out. So what you can do is a solo this. So it's obviously fading in down, so we'll remove that. But that'll be handy because we can do that to the drop there. And we can do that out. So it just sounds a bit smoother. It's obvious that it's coming in, it's good. Another cool effect with this is if you put on the last beat and you right click, there's it comes up with a bunch of options. And these, I don't really know what these ones do too much, I haven't played around with them. But if we go slow down or solo this, it makes a really cool um, vinyl sounding effect. So. so that's cool to know. And then the other way with this one is it speeds it up. So not that handy, but it's cool for making uh, rap mashups and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, and I'll show you, so that was an in-key mashup. Now I've got another song that I'd like to show you with it. This is Booyah, the Digero Bootleg, because I couldn't find the original. But um, they're, they're not in the same key. I'm pretty sure Booyah is in EBM and Proxy is in G minor. So if we play them together... I sound out of key. It's obvious to tell. It's not hard, and it just sounds dodgy. So that's why you want to do that. So still, it kind of works, but it's it's what separates the people who are good at music and who aren't. It's just in key. Um, okay, so that's kind of basics for making a mashup. So I'll delete these. Now I'm going to show you how to make a MIDI clip so how to make your own kind of tune so what we're going to do up here is uh, hit create channel which is this big old plus button and that software instrument create comes up with this green channel and this this is where synths are made and anything you can really desire or think of so I'll click on this one I'll click on ES2 it's just an inbuilt synth that came with it and it makes pretty cool sounds if, you, if you're good at making sounds I guess I'll just hit up a good sound you can hear. Pretty basic, nothing special. Um, so if we go onto this menu, escape, hit the pencil tool, and this, and then click it, it'll create a MIDI clip. And this clip is where all your MIDI and your melodies and shit sit in. So I'll put them in F, because it's common. It's a four beat thing. And this up here, this creates a loop. So that'll always just keep playing, just over and over again. You turn it off, moves on. Uh, so, put on a loop. Now we're going to show you the inserts. If you, you know, these are all effects, a reverb, delay, that sort of stuff. So you have Space Designer, just a reverb. This one of these, delay. Um, so they're the, they're the effects, um, and that's just how you make a basic MIDI clip, you know, you can drag them around, how well, our, our key doesn't really matter, and then, yeah, and then the tools are the same pretty much over here, and you can do stuff and what not, um, yeah, there, escape, um, so what we'll, what these do, I, I'm not 100% sure what the text tool does, it looks pretty useless to be honest, but um, the eraser tool just gets rid of whole MIDI clips that you don't want. Um, the glue tool pretty much just sews them together. And the automation tool, we'll show you what that does. If we backspace to our audio files. Okay, so I'll go with this one. So if you want to fade in or fade out or whatever, you can do MIDI, you can, sorry, I've got to explain what I'm doing. Um, so what you want to do is if you hit A, it comes up with automation. And this 
automation you can change volume pan which is which speaker it comes out of and lots of different sorts of things so automation we're going to automate the volume so that's what that does pretty cool tool it's really effective you use it a lot i assume to make mashups and mixtapes and stuff but then so what these other tools do this automation curve tool curves it so we can make it more curvy or we can make an s shape and do all sorts of stuff with it i don't really use it that much it's kind of annoying um and then the automation select tool is just you can just drag and select a whole bunch of automation um I'm not 100 percent sure what the marquee tool or the flex tool do, but I'm assuming they're not very important. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, we'll go down to mixer quickly. Um, now this mixer, these are your channels. So this, hang on, this channel, which is this one, is also this one. They're all the same thing. So this one, drag it down, change the volume and stuff, and they all all these three channels, every single channel runs through this output and this output is basically your master channel and then that runs into this one but you don't need that one at all, that's just there so yeah this one runs in everything so it will always play sound no matter what and if it's not playing sound you've got a problem um, so yeah that's basically it, on the, on the right here you've got loops and stuff so you can go through and have a look at some loops and just drag them in um, these green ones are MIDI clips and the blue ones are audio files so green ones you can alternate uh, like change notes and stuff and blue ones you can't um, the library um, so this is like if we add in a software instrument these are all instruments you can have so I've got an acoustic piano Steinway Caps lock brings up the keyboard, by the way. So yeah, it's just that, and then you can, you can do whatever, pretty much. It's orchestral, brass, trumpet section. So yeah, that's pretty much what that does. And the browser, so from the browser, if you can sort out yourself, I've got over here a, um, a sample pack, so it should logic should be in the music component of your finder or your computer or whatever and in there you should have your giant project so all my logic files and stuff are kept in here this is it so then I'll click on sample packs these are all my sample packs so you know I can drag kicks in or whatever so I'm dragging my good kick drag it on so to copy and paste just right click Select, uh, hang on. edit, cut, cut, copy, paste, whatever. Or you can do Command C and then Command V for copy and paste. Or what I like to do is you hold Alt and you drag it, and that copies and pastes it for you. It's really handy. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of Logic, and I'll be back soon with more in-depth tutorials and how to do different things. But if you if you want me to do something for you or need something you want to know, then just let me know and uh, I'll do my best to um, do it. Uh, thanks.